Top 10 Hot and Trending Antiques Now Outsider Art Art created by self-taught artists, also known as outsider or intuitive art, has long been a source of inspiration and joy. These works often lack traditional or canonical influences and showcase wildly unique, accessible pieces for budding collectors. Folk art sellers who have amassed a collection of outsider art, like double portraits, reinterpreted biblical scenes, and signs see a rising interest in their field. It is worth noting that self-taught art has gained recognition in the mainstream art world, with a wide price range and interest fueled by secondary market sales, museum acquisitions, and a renewed appreciation for the work of Southern Black artists. We can see an increase in sales of traditional folk art, especially game boards and high-quality signs with unusual graphics. The world of outsider art is worth exploring, especially for those looking for conversation-worthy pieces beyond the typical collectibles. Painted Swedish Furniture Furniture dealers note that painted Swedish furniture is consistently one of the top sellers at their showrooms as of late. The explanation is that the style is relatable because it imitates other styles while using warm raw materials, making it a bridge between well-made brown furniture and high-gilded French-style furniture. Additionally, collectors appreciate the functionality of Swedish furniture, which is currently more in demand than purely decorative pieces. Swedish painted furniture originated in Sweden during the 18th and 19th centuries. It is characterized by its use of bright colors and soft, muted hues, as well as its distinctive paint finishes, which often feature a scraped or worn look. Swedish painted furniture was often created by farmers and peasants who used inexpensive materials and simple techniques to create functional pieces for their homes. Over time, the style gained popularity among the Swedish middle and upper classes, and it has since become highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts around the world. Swedish painted furniture is valued for its unique combination of simplicity, elegance, and functionality, and it continues to be a popular choice for those looking to add a touch of Scandinavian charm to their homes. American and British Studio Ceramics Auction houses and other vendors have seen a resurgence in the popularity and value of contemporary ceramics, particularly in the American studio ceramics category. This trend is following the well-established interest in contemporary British ceramics, with the category gaining more public interest and value over the past five to ten years. Major institutions around the world are now showing renewed interest in European ceramics, elevating the medium from craft to fine art. This, in turn, elevates prices. Record-breaking sales of ceramic works by the likes of Michael and Magdalena Suarez Frimkis and Hans Copper reflect this trend, and the influence of these artists continues to be felt in the work of contemporary ceramicists. Hand-thrown vessels with unique forms and treated surfaces are likely to continue attracting collectors, making now a good time to invest in this medium. Weather Veins Experts in American antiques and decorative arts have noticed a growing interest in weather vanes. Although they are no longer necessary for determining the weather, they continue to hold a certain charm and can serve as a unique decorative object of art. Weather vanes come in various forms, from animals to modes of transportation, and can appeal to collectors or those simply seeking a sculptural object. They possess a minimalist beauty and a clear message, making them an intriguing example of folk art. At a recent show of American weather vanes, over half of the inventory sold, indicating a high demand for these pieces. Art Deco The Art Deco design style has maintained its popularity due to its combination of vintage charm and modern sensibility, making it a desirable choice for contemporary interior design. According to a spokesperson for First Dibs, the style remains the most popular antique category among shoppers. The Art Deco style emerged during a time of great change and innovation in the early 20th century, and its aesthetic reflected this forward-thinking mindset. The style was characterized by sleek, geometric forms, bold colors, and luxurious materials such as marble and gold, which spoke to the era's fascination with modern technology and progress. Art Deco design was often associated with luxury and sophistication and was embraced by the wealthy and elite of the time. Its glamorous and opulent look has continued to appeal to people who desire a sense of elegance and refinement in their homes and lifestyles. The style's versatility has also contributed to its enduring appeal. 
Art Deco can be incorporated into a variety of interior design styles, from minimalist to eclectic, and can be used to create both bold statement pieces and subtle accents. Its flexibility allows it to be incorporated in a wide range of spaces, making it accessible to a broad audience. Especially Art Deco clocks are a notable thing of the moment now. Biedermeier Furniture Many people have recently developed an appreciation for Biedermeier furniture, admiring its sleek and quirky nature, beautiful veneers, and ebonizing. Although the style was previously considered out of fashion, people are starting to appreciate the true artistry in the finishes of Biedermeier pieces, paying close attention to the character of the veneers and inlaid wood. They compare this artistry to that of a painting or drawing, emphasizing its craftsmanship. Although it can be a bit much to furnish a whole room or indeed a house with Biedermeier furniture, the aesthetics and quality of the pieces will add oodles of warmth and sophistication to a room, even if it is just one or two pieces. The overall presentation of a room can be lifted many notches simply by adding a few well-placed Biedermeier pieces as focal points or as peripheral furniture delights. Turkish Rugs Antique rug dealers have found that large Turkish rugs with soft or uncommon colors are popular among interior designers. Ivory, pale blues, soft yellows, greens, and chocolate browns are particularly sought after, especially in larger rugs. Turkish rugs are known for their high quality, intricate designs, and durability. They are hand-woven using techniques that have been passed down from generation to generation. Turkish rugs are made from natural fibers, such as wool and cotton, and are often dyed with natural plant-based dyes. These rugs are available in a wide range of sizes, patterns, and colors, making them a popular choice for interior designers and homeowners alike. While traditional Turkish rugs can be quite expensive due to the time and skill required to make them, there are also more affordable options available. Machine-made Turkish rugs are a great alternative for those on a budget, and they still offer the same intricate designs and beautiful colors. Fajaluasa Ceramics A certain type of ceramic from Granada, Spain, called Fajaluasa Ceramics, has become increasingly popular among collectors, particularly the blue and white pieces in the larger green labrillo. This type of pottery originated in the 16th century. These ceramics are prized for their primitive and abstract patterns, as well as their limited palettes of blue or green, which were traditionally used to decorate historic Andalusian palaces. Imperfections in the ceramics are considered a testament to the material and the evolution of human craft. Dealers who specialize in Fajaluaza ceramics advise collectors to pay attention to these imperfections as they add to the character of the piece. Antique Blanket Chests the online marketplace for vintage and antique items has seen an increase in sales of antique blanket chests with original painted finishes. The trend towards traditional furniture has been on the rise over the past year, with a range of styles including Chippendale and Federal, as well as American Colonial Revival and original English and Continental antiques. The more ornate the chest, the more popular it seems to be among buyers. Antique blanket chests are a type of furniture that was very popular during the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. They were used to store blankets and other bedding at a time when people often slept on the floor. The chests were typically made of wood and were often adorned with decorative elements such as carvings, paint, or stencils. The style of decoration would vary depending on which country it was from and, in many cases, which region within each country. 17th and 18th century European tapestries. Tapestries from the 17th and 18th centuries have been experiencing a resurgence in popularity among collectors and decorators. These wall size, wool and silk masterpieces were highly valued during their golden period, 1500 to 1800, for their narrative potential and as signs of wealth. Many feature scenes ranging from meditations on the natural world to the daydreams of a dilettante. Tapestries can add drama and refinement to any room and work well with both traditional and modern furniture. Collectors are finding them to be an easy and versatile decorative element. While they have languished for decades, there has been a recent resurgence in interest in these refined wall decorations. Specialist galleries note that tapestries are having a moment and this trend is expected to continue. Thanks for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe and be notified of our next dive into the world of antiques and collectibles.